All right, so I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to make Rapeshi super gold by myself. I'm going to try to film this. I'm going to take this little plastic spoon and I'm going to throw a scoop in there. Eh, you know what? Maybe I'll throw two. Try to even it out a little bit. It's in this bowl. Okay, a lot of people are intimidated by uh, gel foods. And I am going to show you how really, really simple this is. Without even having to measure it, realistically. So we're going to come over here to the Curadori, which is almost boiling. You want to get it just to a boil. And then you're going to uh, take the pot off and immediately start mixing it. Because it sets so quick... Here we go. Because it sets so quick, you want to do this like, I don't know, you want to have everything set up already. So not too much longer here. These induction cookers are phenomenal. I can heat water in no time. And here we go. I think this has been on for, when I started this video, I started this water. So we're talking a minute 28 at this point. And there we go. We're going to go ahead and shut her off. I'm going to grab the pot. Come over here. I'm going to eyeball it. Pour in some water. You want to get, just get it like to a liquid consistency. All right. Now we're going to mix her in there. You do want it to be watery. When it's a lot thicker, it has a lot more difficulty setting. So, do not be intimidated by this at all. Gel foods are so easy to make. The pre-mixes, they take all the guesswork out of it. Um, here we go. The stuff on the sides is already starting to set. So we're just going to make sure that we don't have any lumps left in here. I usually just go through it like this. A lot of the times I use a fork, but for the sake of showing you how simple it is, we're going to go ahead and use a spoon. Uh, that's probably good enough. Once you get all the air bubbles out of it, and it's just a thick consistency, a little bit of a watery texture to it, that's when we're going to do our pour. And a lot of people use molds. Uh, I know I did at first. And I just found that sometimes the molds are a little bit too thick. So this is what we're going to do. I'll rinse my spoon off in the pot. We are now going to take our mixture and pour it out onto a plate. Normally I'd make sure that I get all of it out of there, but for the sake of the video, and that I, look, it's already starting to gel. You can see right there. So this is what we do. Get it on the plate, move the plate around a little bit. You can actually already see that it's gelling up. And I'm gonna let it sit. Those air bubbles should come out of it. I think for the most part when people say to make sure that you get all the air pockets out, it's mostly just to be sure that uh, your gel looks really nice and whatever. I'm, I'm not concerned about that. I'm feeding it to the fish, right? So you can see the stuff in the bowl is starting to gel up a bit too. Really the sitting time on it, you, look, so it's already a gel. It's moving in one motion. The top part's not quite dry, but the bottom is completely gelled. Almost always I like to wait probably 10 minutes at the most until it's like 100%. But realistically, as soon as this stuff reaches room temperature, it's ready to go. You can see it. It is now a gel. How are we doing up top here? Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, see? Perfect. Now, you just take whatever you want as a cutting device. I'll just use this knife. Usually I use a pizza cutter because it works really good. And I'll just run some slices like that. I don't care about symmetry and look. Again, I'm feeding it to my fish. Um, and then boom, we've, we've got pieces that are ready to go. I can feed this to my fish right now. So it's that easy. If I can do it, anybody can. Do you have any questions? Post them below. That's it. Rapeshi, the superfood. This is the super gold formula.
I got it from my local pet store. That's Southwest Pet in St. Thomas, Ontario. They carry it. Get you some if you want your fish to look awesome.